Dana White, president, CEO of UFC, a dear friend. He's the former president has shown up at these events and been cheered. Here he is at the podium. Take a listen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dana White. I am the CEO and president of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. So two weeks ago, I got a call from President Trump asking me if I'd be willing to speak tonight. As usual, there was no pressure, no demands. He asked me as a friend, and of course, I said yes. Then, after I accepted his offer, he sent me a text message, and I just want to read to you a little piece of what President Trump wrote to me. Dana, I'm so honored that you will be doing the introduction at the National Republican Convention. Think of it as the biggest fight you ever had, a fight for our country and even the world. I only wish you didn't have to interrupt your family trip, but I hope they understand they love you and they know how important this is. Now think about this. This man's running for president of the United States. He's fighting for the future of this country and he's concerned about interrupting my family trip. That's the President Trump that I know, a man who truly cares about people. The mainstream media likes to push the narrative that he doesn't care about anyone but himself. I absolutely know that's not the truth because I've been friends with this guy for 25 years. And for the people who know me, they'll know this is true. I just want to make something very clear. Nobody in the Trump campaign has ever told me what to say. Nobody tells me what to say, and I'm nobody's puppet. And I'm not telling you what to think. I'm telling you what I know. And I know President Trump. I know President Trump is a fighter. I've been saying this since 2015. Now look at what's happened over the last 10 years. We have all seen it with our own eyes. I'm in the tough guy business, and this man is the toughest, most resilient human being that I have ever met in my life. The higher the stakes, the harder he fights, and this guy never, ever gives up. So what's at stake here? The answer is in President Trump's uh, text, and I quote, a fight for our country. I know why he's running for president again. Why else would he put himself through everything he's dealt with just to get back here? We all know he doesn't need this. This guy's got a great life, he has a beautiful family, and he has achieved everything that you could possibly achieve in life. I know President Trump is literally putting his life on the line for something bigger than himself. And he's willing to risk it all because he loves this country. And I know he wants what's best for the American people, all American people. I know he's running for president to save our American dream. I'm living the American dream, and I know the American dream is very real. Whether you were born in this country or came here from someplace else, this is the last real land of opportunity. <laughs> President Reagan once said, government's first duty is to protect the people, not run their lives. And if you're buried in government red tape, how will you ever start your own business? If you're struggling to pay your bills, how can you ever afford to start a family? And if you don't feel safe in your own town, why would you ever buy a house? I know that President Trump is fighting to save the American dream, and that's what's at stake in this election. We are choosing who we want to lead us in this fight. I know President Trump is a proven leader, a fearless leader, and this country was in a much better place when he was in the Oval Office. In my mind, the choice, the choice is clear, but this election, we all get to choose. I know I'm gonna choose strength and security. I know I'm gonna choose opportunity and prosperity. 
I know I'm going to choose real American leadership and a real American badass. And I'm not telling you what choice to make, and I'm not telling you what to think. I'm telling you what I know. I know America needs a strong leader, and the world needs a strong America. I know Donald J. Trump is the best choice for President of the United States. My fellow Americans, it is my honor to introduce the 45th and soon to be 47th.